So what's going on, my homies? We are going to be covering a subject. So what's going on guys? Will Fox coming at you from Guitar Boneyard. Today we're going to be talking about guitar picks. There's so many different kinds of guitar picks out there. There's Tordex, Delrin, some kind of composite material I think. You've got pennies, you've got titanium, you've got wood, you've got all these different types. And I'm going to cover one in particular with you guys today that absolutely blows my mind and just shatters all kinds of like physics and sound properties or might just kind of be just kind of cool, you know? So just stay tuned. So in a recent video that I watched where music is a win, went over all sorts of guitar picks. Um, he went over all these different materials. He went over all these different types and styles and, you know, um, this and that. But one thing I didn't notice is that he didn't go over one type of pick. But in reality, this pick is just a novelty and it kind of sucks to play with. So. so, let's get into the guitar pick that I've been waiting to tell you all about. First off, though, something that people talk about a lot around the guitar table is that, you know, some people say thick picks get the thicker sound. I can kind of see that. I'm not going to show any demonstrations of that today. Um, but one thing I've noticed, thick picks die quick. Like this 2 millimeter <laughs> purple Tordex pick. The composite. I, I might have played this pick for maybe a week or so. And it's, you can't probably see it, but it's just really sawed down because of the way I play. Um, I've had nylon picks last longer than, than this guy. So, you know, if you're going for a thick sound, I mean, unless you're playing like Stoner Doom and you're just going to be like... <laughs> This probably isn't really going to be the, the the best choice. If you're if you're picking like super crazy fast leads and stuff, and just ripping shredding it up, it's not going to be the pick for you. I have a pick that was not covered on 
the video that I watched here recently with Music Is Win, I was like, man, I can't believe he did not put these, he didn't mention these on his video. Like, it's a pretty crucial material, I would think, um, being that they're make, you know, they make these. And I think they're really, really neat and very uh, different. And I've happened to shred on them a little bit and I will demonstrate jamming out with these picks um, that I'm about to show you. The pick that I wanna talk about with you guys is this sweet, awesome, amazing Stoneworks guitar pick. These picks I got as a gift from my wife and they've been a really, really cool gift. So they came in this neat packaging. Um, I don't have the paper with me, but the guy even signed a piece of paper, like autograph type kind of deal. And I was just kind of like blown away because, you know, he was, he is really standing beside, you know, standing by these picks. I don't know if you can hear it. I've tried to silence the room so you can hear So these aren't just like rock, they're called stone, Stoneworks guitar picks. And they're, they're not really rocks. There's different kinds of materials. There's like jute, there's just, there's so many different kinds that I don't, you know, I could go on for days, you know. Jute, graphite, titanium. Petrified dog turds. Petrified dog turds. But instead, I'm just showing you these guys. They came with like little dots as grippers, which I wish they had a little bit better grip. They don't come in millimeter thickness. Uh, you just order these, like I think my wife ordered these in like medium. And they are pretty thick. They're probably close to a two. Um, I would have loved for them to be more like thin, but who knows, like the thinner they get, the easier that might be to break, I don't know. But these things seem pretty sturdy and they don't wear out. The tips don't wear. The tips do not wear out. And to me, that's just revolutionary, you know? I have a guitar pick that my grandkids can play. And nobody's talking about these picks, why? I don't know. I'm about to give you a demonstration video of what they sound like and how they feel and play. Let's get into it. So the one thing that I've noticed is on the cleans, 
they have like this teardrop water drop effect, like a droplet effect that you would almost get from a penny, playing with a penny or a metal titanium pick. Um, but it's different. And whenever you're chugging, it's like, I don't even know. It's so majestic. It's so different. It's like nothing I've ever played with before. And I think they're really, really cool. The only downfall, in my opinion, of these guitar picks are the uh, the grippers. It has no grippers, really. Um, especially whenever you're playing fast and stuff and you're just... It's really hard to, to stay gripped. But there's always room for perfection. There's always room for, you know, growth. And I think these guys are probably revolutionary at to say the least um because like i said they don't wear i've been i've played on these a bunch i keep them put up sometimes and i'll pull them out and i'll jam on them and i'll put them back up because i don't want to lose them because it was a gift but i have really played hard on these and like i said you know i played on this guy for like a week I've played on both of these for the same length of time. I've probably played with this more than I have this. And I can tell you that the wear and tear on these is night and day. This guy right here, toast. This guy right here, still got his form. There are no, there is no edging. There's no, there's nothing. It's, it's like I've never even played with this pick. And that's kind of cool. I like it. I mean, the aesthetic of buying tons and tons and bulk of tortoise guitar picks is kind of cool, which is what I use on a daily basis. But if this had grippers, which I might even go in as far as doing my own thing to these and making my own grippers, but if they could just be a little bit thinner and grippier, I'd probably use these all the time. So... One thing that I would have to have in my guitar arsenal, as far as gear goes, as far as any of that stuff goes, especially guitar picks, it would be these Stoneworks guitar picks. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it was in, in you know, educational, informational. If there's anything you guys would like for me to cover or me to mention or show in the next video, Please comment below. I'm always up for new comments. I'm always up for new ideas. Um, I like to keep my viewers in mind. So just, you know, let me have it. Please hit the subscribe button if you're new to watching this channel or new to checking any of these videos out. Please subscribe. Please like. And stay tuned. Peace out.